I'm Garrett Bergquist and joining me is Jefferson City Mayoral Candidate Richard Groner. Richard, why are you running for mayor? To give people that are conservative a choice of having a conservative mayor. What do you think is the single biggest issue facing Jefferson City? Excessive spending. Okay. And how do you plan to address that? Take a long time to work at it. You got to go through a lot of operations and meetings and all those sort of things to really see what the real ac action is doing. Several residents have uh, raised concerns in recent months about abandoned properties in the city. Uh, what do you think should be done about that? Well, I probably have more experience with abandoned properties than anybody. I have taken eight buildings and taken them down, hauled them off. So uh, the rules that they have are a little bit conflicting. But uh, so I've actually taken, removed eight buildings. So uh, I understand what they're trying to do. Maybe they've got a little problem in the way they go about it, but uh, there is a problem. Do you think the city should revisit the issue of a conference center? If I'm elected mayor, the first thing we will do is take a delegate, a delegation down to see the Hammonds Hotel people and determine what their status is, uh, what their plans are, and go from there. Uh, we will also take a poll of all the organizations in Jefferson City, see where they'll bring a conference here and how often and how many people and so on, which I don't think we've done, so I don't think we really have a good handle on where we stand and we'll do all that stuff. And then we'll make some decisions based upon those numbers that we get from polling the organizations and what we find out about the hotel Capitol Plaza and see if we can work a deal out somewhere or another. What issue do you think is not getting enough attention right now on the council? Oh, I, I don't have any particular issue. I, I'm not really running on any particular issue. I'm running just as generalities. Uh, one problem I have is with a national search for offices because you get somebody who's here for a few years he's been a bunch of different places for a few years and then he leaves and i think we need to have uh, somebody who can be appointed from within who will live here the rest of their life and we could benefit from that rather than the musical chairs game the way we're playing now there are six people running for mayor why should the voters pick you in one sentence because I've got more experience with government. I've been working in government for 50 years. So I've dealt with all kinds of governments all across the state. Richard Groner, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me.